again. Come on. stop don't stop for anything they cannot chase you forever oh good they're gone calm calm Okay, I can finally return to the main quest. We can't even keep our son safe. How do we expect to win a war? Got no stomach for killing other cards. At least Ian is still alive. Hardly. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. <laughs> the other side of the tower. Look for a vent. Go, go down, Aloy. Good Christ. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Well, a 
let's get going. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the Savage East. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now <laughs> we last i checked i was the one risking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped Shh. Oh, great more lore dumping isn't this fantastic welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. No time. Gotta, gotta collect it all. I'll find a use for you. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Gotta scan, gotta scan, gotta scan it all! Scan Please everything. proceed into viewing room one for an important message. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. 
The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. I called it. <laughs> of course, I already knew this was happening. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Let's He's do this. Silence, calm down. I think I can go up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I think I can go around and up and get some more. Unless it was these that I missed. supply crates. devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system 
and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Elizabeth did this. For life. For us. But... Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? Why does it want to kill me? And... Apollo... The Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Gotta, gotta tackle the lore. Can't leave one more behind. I'll read all of it later, I promise. Uh, anything else, anything else, anything else? Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. Tommy 
down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just be my focus. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Okay, so everything is backwards then. Uh, how do I... There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Uh, so wait, how the, wait, what? I'm confused. There's a part missing? No! There can't be a part missing. So, left. Uh, fuck. Left up, left down, right. Left. Down. At least I think it was down. Yep, down and right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Uh, gotta get the law. Gotta get all the law. Come on, hey. Okay, there's gotta be law in here somewhere. Law ladder. Aha. Looks intact. Right down. Down, left, up, right down. That did it. Door should have power. Now to well, see which I be it. it. Ah, this door. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Something there! So how do I, I get to the second the floor? Question mark. You won't survive here. <sighs> 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 
That's the last of them. <sighs> okay. Beach box structural failure. Repeat. <sighs> or not. I really know. Nice. Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <sighs> Hello, I'm, I'm Marco so Shen, and this is Hephaestus. Fine. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the... Come on, I ain't got time for all this lore dump. I gotta scan and go. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobeck's office. But it, more eclipse. Careful now. I don't think I'll be able to save. Because we're nearing the end of the episode. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least. 